What's up everyone, Electronic Search here. Back on another video. We have Electronic Search 3.0 here. And I can't get this message to go away, but oh well. And I have something special. You might notice something different on here. Right there. Yeah. We installed a cardboard fire alarm system. And here is the outside. And here's the rest. We have an intercom, annunciator, simplex horn, a simplex true alert, firelight BG12, the panel, which is custom built, and EST G Genesis, two. Um, firelight systems, um, things, the addressable monitors thing, and we have, we have, um, a simplex 405080 right there, and we also do have a carbon monoxide detector, but it fell off and it doesn't work anymore, so... I'm I'm gonna try and putting putting it back up. By the way, it's a system sensor one two two four TR. I'm going I'm gonna fix it later on and put it back up. But we can't really test it because you know it's all cardboard and stuff. Yeah, I just broke the table. No, no, no. We're just I'm I'm just gonna show it. So, um, we do have that, which we're going to get to in a second. And yes, we do have an intercom system built in. There's the speaker, and then here's the, um, the thing for it. You know, the speaker thing. Yeah. So, first, we're going to start with the outside. We have a potter. We have a potter... H, B, no, I mean, sorry, Potter, P, B, A, 1, 2, 0, 10. I know I'm mispronouncing that all over the place. And we have a Potter, H, I don't even remember the model. I think I do, I think it was an SH1224. Yeah, SH1224. And it's set to 15 candela, and it's outside. And we do have the the Potter Bell wired in, and I have it on a Simplex 405080 back box that I got for free from the mini cardboard store and stuff. I have it wired in. It's going inside. Yeah, and it's also on a back box, except the the other Potter is flush mounted. There's the dog. And yes, we are going to be getting a service in here. I mean, server down here. Um, We might have it right here since I put, you know, all the stuff here now. It's going to be an HP and then the um, uh, monitor is going to be a wall-mounted Yeah. Monitor. Yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah. That's it uh, for the outdoor appliances. Now we're going to go inside. And yes, the volume is all the way up. I know this thing only has one speaker in it. So, yeah. Over here, we I'm not sure what the model number of this horn is. I forgot. Sorry. I, um, I'm probably going to link it in the description. We have a Firelight Alarms by Honeywell Annunciator. Doesn't work. It's not compatible with the panel, of course. But I will link the model down in the description. Right here we have a Pacific, I think it's called. Pacific, I think it's called. I'm not sure if it is. Um, intercom, um, speak, uh, not speaker. I mean, intercom, um, the thing where you click to talk and you speak into the microphone and it plays through the speaker. And speaking of the speaker... This is a vol a wall cum. Yeah, you forgot to turn the camera on. I can't see. 
Yeah, it's a Walcom VC VIP 120. And right next to that, we have none other than a Simplux 2904. 9101 which you might know we, this stuff is rare when it not in the cardboard version but in real life like the real thing these stuff are extremely rare and we got the cardboard version here we have the firelight bg12 it's it doesn't really look like a bg12 it's kind of broken over there but it's still good flush mounted and above that, we have a Simplux True Alert, addressable. Um, there's the model number. It's 49VOWWF. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. And there is the address address of it. And we do have var warranty on it, which I don't really care about. We also got warranty on that, which I also don't care about. We still have the carbon monoxide detector and the I-9060 over there, which we're not using. Well, we are using. We are using, but it's not connected to the panel. And there's the EST Genesis Mini Edition. It's, I forgot to scale it up, so that's why it's way too small. So that's the true alert, that stuff over here. And the um, wall mount accessories here's the fire alarm panel i'm gonna open up in a second we have two firelight alarms addressable monitors one's monitoring this one this is a conventional fire alarm control panel cardboard one and that thing right there is monitoring this thing so this thing isn't addressable anymore it's converted to conventional by this which is then go plugs into the panel. And this one, this one isn't being used. This one's just here for future expansion, just in case we get another addressable alarm, we have to put it back down to conventional. We have that. And above that, I have a 4051 on the 405080 light plate right there. I'm just gonna take it off the wall. There it is. It's custom built by the mini cardboard store. There it yeah. is. 4051. Okay, dude, guess what we need to do? Since we're getting a server, we should actually take that fake camera and mount it on the roof. That yeah. We're gonna have to put this fake security camera up on the wall. And that's basically it for all the horn and strobe and Annunciator and all that appliance stuff. So now we're gonna get to the panel. And the way you open it up, you can't just stick your hand in here. There's no plastic stuff here. But you can take this off. It just comes right off. I'm just gonna put it right here for now. In order to make it like plastic, you can, you can put some yeah. wrap on the door for it. Yeah. And this is a label that I got from the internet, and all of this is paper on a cardboard Macy's box. And this is um, colored by a, a red marker that I had. And here's the panel. There's the display. Yes. We have continuous march time code 3 on there, all that stuff. And we have six zones on this thing. Zone one is the BG-12, and zone two is the Potter alarm that's outside this one. The yeah. HSH-1224, that one. Oh, and this thing is set to, um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is set to 15 Candela, the true alert. Yeah. And... It's located in the Wall of China, too. That's basically it. There's nothing else about the panel. We might add future customization to this, because, see, we still have plenty of open spots right there, so we can easily add anything to this thing, since this thing is custom-built. 
and the way you just put it back on is you just slide it right on. Done. That's it. And here's all the appliances once again before we end the video. And out here. And that's basically all the appliances we have so far. So yeah, we will add um, a horn and strobe in here. We're not we're not done with this with this area yet, so we're not gonna put one up yet. But eventually we are. And that's basically it. So you ready to say um goodbye? Yeah, bye. Yep. Alright, thanks thanks for watching. Goodbye.